Hi, I'm Hasika, and you're watching Hasika's World. Now the entire world is discussing about Suez Canal. Well, I'm going to tell you where Suez Canal is and why it is so important, and how the Suez Canal was blocked for six days. How did the ship refloat? And what is the impact on the world trade? And let me tell you the history of Suez Canal. The 193.30 kilometers, approximately 120 miles long, Suez Canal is an artificial sea level waterway located in Egypt. It connects the Mediterranean Sea with the Gulf of Suez Canal, a northern branch with the Red Sea. If there was no Suez Canal, the ships bound for European port for, from India it has to travel additional 7,000 kilometers, which would take 34 days for a ship running with 16 knot speed. The construction of Suez Canal officially began on April 25, 1859. The original cost of the project was estimated 200 million francs. At the time of completion, the total cost of the project was more than twice the original cost. The construction of Suez Canal was carried out between 1859 and 1869 by the Suez Canal Company. The Suez Canal is one of the most heavily used shipping routes in the world, officially opened in November 1869. In the early 21st century, the traffic of Suez Canal has decreased due to the piracy in Somalia as most of the shipping companies use the longest route instead. In August 2014, the construction was started to expand the canal and widen the Bala Bypass for 35 kilometers to speed the canal transit time. The aim of the expansion was to double the capacity. Do you know why the Suez Canal is so important? The Suez Canal is one of the world's biggest shipping lanes. About 12% of world trade by volume passes through the man-made channel connecting Europe and Asia. So, a traffic jam like one caused by the 224,000 ton ever given container ship is rather a big problem and could have a major impact on the global flow of oil and gas. Nearly 19,000 ships passed through the canal during 2020. That's an average of 51.5 ships per day. All the traffic adds up to about 1.17 billion tons, all squeezing through the man-made channel. Giant tankers and container ships carry everything from crude oil and refined products to finish goods like electronics and toys. 
The Suez Canal is also a major source of hard currency for Egypt. The country ranked in $5.6 billion in tolls in 2020, despite global trade disruption elsewhere. The 120-mile-long canal separates the African continent from Asia. It also provides the shortest sea link between Asia and Europe and the lands lying around the Indian and Western Pacific Oceans. Did you know how the giant ship refloated? A fleet of tugs using cables or placing themselves directly alongside. The striking ship worked for six days and nights to free it. The army of machine operators, engineers, tugboat captains, and other salvage operators were involved to set the ship afloat. Over the weekend, 14 tugboats pulled and pushed the Ever Given at high tide to try to dislodge it and bring into the center of the waterway. Workers removed 30,000 cubic meters of sand with the help of dredgers enough to fill about a dozen Olympic-sized swimming pools. Dredgers are ships equipped with machines to remove underwater sand and sediments. Two dredgers, the 10th of Ramadan and the Mashur, both owned the Suez Canal Authority, played a key role in refloating the ship. Supermoon and high tide within the canal also aided the savages in dislodging the ship and easing the world's heaviest traffic jam. Through the canal traffic resumed, it is yet to ascertain how long it will take to clear the blockage of over 300 ships. The blockage has created disruptions in the global shipping industry that could take weeks or possibly months to clear. Suez Canal Authority Chairman Mr. Osama Rabi said that the disruption costs the canal as much as $15 billion per day. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.